hello guys welcome back to my channel once again this is cn on now on the screen and you are watching cn great castles and forest trade now uh, this condition just met and we're going to take our trades right away okay and um if you are new on this channel i'd like you to hit that subscribe button right away and uh, turn on the notification bell that way whenever i upload a new video you'll be, you'll be the first to watch it okay you'll be the first to watch my video whenever i upload a new video and if you are already uh, a subscriber i want to say big thank you for subscribing to my channel uh, you guys are wonderful and i'm glad to have you as audience okay so the condition for us to play straight uh, just met now and this is boom 500 okay so i'm gonna take five candlesticks five candlesticks okay now on boom 500 or crash 500 if the condition is met as i'm gonna show you you are taking between four to seven candlesticks okay but to be on the safe side you are taking maximum of five candlesticks on the crash pairs okay that is talking about crash 500 and uh, boom 500 that is on the 500 pairs that's what i i meant okay you are taking a uh, maximum of five candlesticks but with further analysis to know um, the direction of the market you can take up to seven on 500 indices okay but on 1000 indices if the conditions that i'm going to tell you are met properly you are taking maximum of 10 candlesticks and this strategy is called stochastic club levels magic okay magic strategy stochastic club level magic strategy okay that's the strategy i talked about uh, that i will release okay today so um we are going to close the trade before i will give you the setting okay let's just um quickly go into the setting i may come back to close the trade let me place my uh, vertical line so that i will know i took the trade here okay because that's where the condition was made after the third candlestick okay so um, just at the third candlestick so we, are, uh, we have um, just about um yeah two candles to go so let's quickly go to the setting by clicking on the f icon and just as you know i don't trade without having fractals on my main chart so on the main chart we have the fractals these are the parameters then you click done okay uh, the style is two pixel and then uh, there's no level okay then we have two indicator windows on indicator window one this is actually a variant of the sharp shooter strategy okay with an entirely different window that is the indicator window two but on indicator window one these are the indicators that we have the relative strength index um the period is the thing there's adjustment in the setting is not exactly with the sharp shooter okay and then the uh, you apply it to close uh the styles is um three pixels and the color is the color you are seeing. So you can as well use any color of your choice. Then the levels, very, very important. Um, 90, 65, 35, and uh, 10. Okay, then you click done. Then the second indicator we have there is the moving average. Okay, period is 10, shift is zero, method is linear weight. You apply it to close the style is three pixels color red okay you can as well use any color of your choice then you click done now let's check our trade before i'll give you the setting to the second indicator window okay now one two three four five okay at the close of this very candlestick we are gonna um you know we are gonna close the trade right okay yeah but i want you to take note of this place i want you to take note of this place uh let me pick my brush I want you to take note of this place and then this place okay this is where we have the cloud and this is where we enter the trade okay so we okay yes the candlestick just closed so we are taking a profit right away all right um okay guys yes we are scalping yeah we just finished scalping so let's continue with the setting before i come back to give you the conditions for you to trade with this strategy okay so um we have our indicator window two uh this is where the magic comes in uh stochastic oscillator 
okay and the cap period is five the deep period is three slowing is three price field low slash high the method is simple uh the main uh, the styles the main is one pixel and according to the color of your background if you are using black background use um you have to uh, choose the black color for your pixel then the signal the same thing okay then the levels this is a key factor key determinant so you have to be very serious with it take note of it very well we have 90 90 uh, we have 91 90 89 88 then we have 12 11 10 and 9 okay 12 11 10 and 9 all right then you go back um of course the color the style is four pixel and then i chose this ash color okay you can choose any color of your choice and then you click done so let's get back to the chart right away okay you remember this is uh boom 500 boom 500 so what are the conditions for you to trade with this strategy first and foremost just like the sharpshooter and the unbeatable vip strategy um we are looking out for spike a single spike or multiple spike just like this one and the pip value made by the spike must be from 18 and above okay it could be a double spike like this one but make sure that the, if it is boom make sure that the bearish candle between the two spikes are not up to three this is what i mean this is what i mean if you look between these two spikes you see a bearish candle yeah make sure that if you are taking double spikes or triple spikes that the bearish candles between them is not up to three if it's up to two you can take it you can count it as one um, spike but if it's up to three please do not take that trade on either crash 500 boom 500 crash 1000 crash 500 do not take the trade okay do not take the trade that's it so the first condition is that you are looking out for a spike which could be either a single spike a double spike just like this one okay and please let's not forget if you've not watched my video on how to calculate peeps accurately on boom and crash please i'll leave the, uh, the link in the description box so that you go and watch the video you guys i i guess you don't really know the secret i revealed to you now there is a particular number of peeps a spike we make and then the market would definitely you know trend for a while okay let me just stop there okay so if you've not watched my video on how to calculate peeps accurately please check in the description box of this video and you get the link to the video on how to calculate peeps on boom and crash accurately so the first thing first look out for a spike like this whenever it spikes check the peep made the peeps made by these two spikes is 29 over okay this is over 29 peeps okay that's the first condition after that you look at the second i mean the first indicator window okay for a cross between the moving average and the relative strength index remember that the moving average the red color line and the relative strength index is the blue color line now for boom markets whether on boom 500 or uh, boom 1000 the crossing has to be that the relative strength index is crossing the moving average moving from up downwards and the crossing has to be above the 65 level for um, boom market 65 level this is the 65 level right now look at where the crossing took place now here is where the difference come between this strategy and the sharpshooter or beatable strategy now is at indicator window two if uh, uh, these first two conditions are met and this crossing took place and is above the 65 level for boom market you want to quickly look at the indicator window two if this macd pardon i didn't give you the setting to the macd please i beg your pardon i beg your pardon let me quickly give you the setting to the macd i forgot that okay this is the setting to the macd we have 
fast EMA um, to be 12, slow EMA 26, MACD SMA 1, you apply it to close. The main is 3 pixels, color is green. Use these colors, please. Then the signal is 2 pixels, color is purple, okay? Please, I beg your pardon. Then you click done. Now, back to the um, conditions, okay? Now, if the first condition, okay, the spike and the pip made is over 18 and above, and then there's a crossing between the uh, relative strengthness and the moving average, which must take place at the 60 level or above it, just as you can see, then you want to quickly look at the MACD signal line and the main line on the indicator window 2. If the MACD main uh, and the signal line are buried right inside the cloud levels of the stochastic oscillator just as you can see okay this is the cloud level okay those levels of um 91 90 89 and 88 okay remember that for crash is going to be the opposite now if it is buried right there okay then at that point remember you are doing this analysis immediately you spot that this crossing has taken place which will fill the second condition and the crossing is usually between the second and the third candlesticks after a spike like this okay now if you spot that immediately execute your trade and then take your five candlesticks maximum on boom 500 or crash 500 but if it is on boom 1000 and crash 1000 you are taking 10 candlesticks okay you can take between 7 and 10 okay but maximum of 10 candlesticks the market can still trend for a longer time but we're talking about uh, minimizing our losses and maximizing our profits here so you take your 10 candlesticks for 1000 uh, pairs and then five candlesticks maximum for 500 pegs okay let me take a quick recap please okay now i say that you are looking out for a spike whenever it spikes this way if the pip made by the spike is 18 and above okay just like this one then you look out you wait for a crossing between the um relative strength index on indicator window one and the moving average whereby the relative strength index cuts the moving average from up moving downwards and the crossing has to be at the 60 or above the 60 level okay of the relative strength index at that point you look at your indicator with the two to see if the macd main and signal lines are buried on the cloud levels of the stochastic oscillator then you execute your trade and take your five candlesticks maximum for 500 indices and 10 candlesticks maximum for 1000 indices that's the conditions guys so we're going to go ahead now to uh, do some back tests on both crash and boom okay so we want to quickly do some back tests right now um to see where the conditions were met okay um this wasn't okay but let's just look let's just check the peep made uh it wasn't up to that's the first condition was not met okay it wasn't really met here because there was no crossing uh, between the relative strength index and um, okay but over here it was um okay let's check the people value made by this it wasn't up to but this one was cool okay now look at here remember i said it can be triple uh spikes just like this or double or single now the pips value made by this this is over 25 now that's the first condition now if you look at this place you will see there was a crossing here and then the macd the crossing was above the 65 level then the macd was buried here okay at that level then you would have taken even if you had wanted to take 10 candlesticks you would have taken okay your 10 candlesticks all right that's it that's it guys um yeah Let's keep back testing. Let's back test more. 
before we go to other indices look at this place um it wasn't properly met because the macd was not bearing at the cloud levels of this okay now with further analysis you can take this trade this is takeable because of the crossing here okay but then you have to know how to do a top down analysis to be sure the market won't spike you out of the market okay so um let's check this let's check this okay um yeah um the pip value not up to and then let's check this i took trade here that's why i have my rectangle okay the p value made here complete um let me quickly delete the i beg your pardon please i'm gonna delete the rectangle okay um please okay let's just let it be okay let's let it be all right guys sorry about that sorry about that please um okay yeah it's fixed already so but let's let me quickly show you here okay, that this is the zoom level we are using let me quickly show you the zoom level the zoom level is the zoom level three i mean and uh, yeah we are using zoom level three and zoom level two now you zoom out completely this way then you zoom in twice okay you can use either this zoom level this is the best for this strategy or this zoom level now whenever you zoom, use the two zoom level and you are having the same conditions then you know that it's a high probability trade now i repeat for instance now whenever you zoom like this very trade i will just took now this is the third zoom level okay now i zoomed out i zoomed in and then the condition was still met the condition was still met the condition was still met now if i zoom out to the second zoom level the condition still met properly well this is a high probability trade and you can take your number of uh, candlesticks they're supposed to take you know conveniently and you get out of the market so um i don't want this video to be that long so let me just show you on um, the crash index okay let's check crash 1000 okay this is our uh, crash 1000 just a moment just a moment all right um okay now this wasn't really um good enough yeah it wasn't good enough because there was too much space here so this wasn't so valid but with your further analysis you can take this trade okay you would have taken it even if you were spiked you would have still remember that all my strategies they are designed and developed in such a way that if you are caught by any spike then is a retraceable one and you can always stick to my instructions on how to handle spikes if the conditions for you to trade with my strategies are met and you are caught by any spike i made a video dedicated to that on how you handle it okay do not panic just allow it to retrace and as soon as it retraces you close the trade as soon as you enter blues you close the trade but i said if in the course of retracement another spike catches you then you set your stop loss immediately and then wait for price action to determine your effect if your um, stop loss is eventually hit or activated then you take the loss and then get prepared for another opportunity so guys that's it so we are still back testing and uh, let's look at the peak value made by this okay yeah this is it this is it perfect this is crash 1000 this is 18 okay over 18 yes and that's the first condition and um i want to zoom in to the next you see the condition still met this is a high probability trade guys so now the first condition the pip value settled the second condition the crossing 
and remember this is crash market it has to be the opposite of what i said for broom for boom okay now the crossing between the uh, relative strength index and the moving average has to be at the 35 level of the rsi or an indicator with the one or below the 35 level at the 35 level or below then the MACD signal line and the main line on indicator window 2 has to be buried right on this level of 12, 11, 10, and 9 of the stochastic oscillator. And that's what we have here. You would have taken your 10 candlesticks and then you are out of the market. Okay. It happens over and over and over and over again. Okay. Now, let's look at this place. Let's look at this um yeah this was valid look at this place this is where you're supposed to count from let's check the p-value made okay this is 30 something now this is the point now you wouldn't have taken the trade from or executed the trade from here because no condition was met here okay no condition was met here okay now the condition was met um here okay this was where the crossing took place and by then you would have measured the pip value remember that this is valid because the spaces between these two um spikes that we are taking to be one the b uh, bullish candlestick is two remember i said if it's up to three don't take the trade but if it's between one and two or there is no space at all but is a, a double spike you can take the trade now measuring the pip value we've seen it already and then the crossing between the relative strength index and the um, moving average took place below the 35 and then look at where the um macd signal line and main line was buried right inside this club level so it's valid you have taken your 10 candlesticks and you're out of the market so you keep having it over and over and over and over and over again uh, look at this that is let's check the p value made okay yeah this is almost 18 is takeable and the crossing took place here look at where the crossing took place and look at this so guys um the video is getting long already and uh, that's just it i just showed you how you trade with it please feel free to contact me ask your questions leave your comment in the comment section below if you get confused anywhere and I'll be glad to read your comments and to reply. I reply virtually all my comments, okay? All your comments I leave in the comment section uh, of any of my videos. Also, don't forget that this strategy is not a zero loss strategy, okay? But with proper money and risk management and with your knowledge of how uh, the market behaves, of course, you can check the description box to get uh, to get the link to my video on how to identify boom and crash train like a pro. You need to diversify. You need to be technical because the market is extremely dynamic and close to being efficient. So you must maneuver your way to keep making your profit from the financial market, guys. So many times for watching this video, guys. And if you are yet to uh, subscribe to this channel, please kindly do so right away turn on the notification bell so that whenever i upload a new video you'll be the first to watch it don't forget also to risk and trade wisely okay this is cn great castles signing out for today talk to you in my next video bye